there is a mathematical equation for the simple harmonic motion that is uh, in terms of uh, equations it is so better to understand so basically uh, the condition for the simple harmonic motion a equal to minus omega square x this is a basic condition for the simple harmonic motion right what is this a equal to minus omega square x a is the acceleration of a simple harmonic body okay which is directly proportional to the negative displacement where omega here it is gives the angular velocity usually for us basically okay we know that acceleration acceleration means change in the velocity with respect to time this we know right so this further i can write velocity change in the displacement with respect to time gives us a velocity right um so could, re uh, could you repeat what dv by dt acceleration is? equal to change in the velocity with respect to time dv by dt the d by dt of some function is represents that change in the function with respect to time beta okay d okay, v by so. dt for example in differentiation d by dt of some function f of x function, yes, any function it can be okay some situation or some quantity is changing with respect to some variable who is the variable here with respect to time okay so here i wanted to change the velocity with respect to time basic definition of acceleration is what for us change in the velocity with respect to time is called as acceleration right so that we are representing in differential form d by dt of v v who is a v change in the velocity velocity is a function okay basically what we call the acceleration definition change in the velocity with respect to time right is yes, that right? so yes, yes. I, I can write that is equal to dv by dt and in the same way and in the same way change in the x x is i am considering as a displacement change in the displacement with respect to time gives us velocity right so this is a velocity term so in the place of v i have written like this now for a change for simplification mathematically d into d and dt into dt i am writing d square of this x into sorry by dt square okay d square x by dt square is a one complete term right this is i can equate to the acceleration d square x by dt square is gives the acceleration for me have you understood that this is a different yes, expression differential form normally what you will write acceleration equal to v by t and uh, that equal to velocity means what change in the displacement with respect to time means delta x by delta t by t you will write yes sir this is further if you carry delta x by t comes down t square you will write hardly right now this is in normal expressions we will follow this is we will follow in the normal expressions but in differential format we will express with respect to d by dt function okay so this is about the acceleration in differential form now there is a standard differential equation beta for having uh, oscillatory equation we have standard equation from this condition what was the condition i said the condition a equal to minus omega square x is a condition for the simple harmonic motion which is yes, a sir. directly proportional to negative displacement where omega square is a constant there 
so that i have expressed i can able to express in a equal to d square x by dt square since it is having here uh, in terms of acceleration equal to d square x by dt square in the sense in the place of acceleration i am going to write look at here in the place of a i am going to write d square x by dt square minus omega square x can i write like this in the place of a i, I have written this yes sir okay now yes, since sir. This minus now what i wanted to do to give a standard format of equation in differential form that i can write d square x by dt square this term i am bringing this side therefore plus omega square x equal to 0 this is the standard equation of simple harmonic motion basically here <coughs> excuse me the x is a variable here which is a displacement of a oscillating body simple harmonic body okay so if this displacement changes with respect to that the simple harmonic motion will change that is a meaning this is a standard form of differential equation okay sir so this is a standard differential equation mathematically if you go with the maths basically in higher classes maybe you may have or not i don't know differential formats differential equation format this equation is having a solution beta when you derive this with the higher classes if you go engineering you will find it you have a solution for this the solution is for this differential equation i'm not going to produce the solution here the solution which we know standard solution this is a standard equation means there is a standard solution that is in terms of x equal to x naught cos omega t x equal to x naught cos omega t or x equal to x naught sin omega t any one solution depends on the phase depends on the direction we can use where x naught is a constant what constant is here that we need to check means here it is indicating the amplitude right so how can we calculate this how can we understand this i'll explain how we can understand this okay this is a standard format you may note down this are you noting down yes sir yes sir done sir yes sir yes sir are you noting down yes sir yes sir yes sir we are yes sir yeah if you note down this solution by using this solution how we can make how we can prove this a equal to minus omega square x i'm going to tell now so now i have a solution i'm considering x equal to x naught sine omega t how can i proceed that with uh, further in this expression you will get to know so i have x equal to x naught sin omega t from this first differential equation change in the displacement with respect to time if you take out okay then with a so is this stuck for you too yes for yes for me too okay Yeah, sorry for the disturbance. Uh, what I am telling that I am differentiating this equation, which is in a form of solution. We got it is right. So how I can differentiate it is 
how I can differentiate. How can I differentiate? There is a differentiation formulas for that. Always differentiation is applicable with respect to the variable. For example, here t is there. If I have here variable is x, I cannot do the differentiation of that. Okay, I can change the function with respect to respective variable only. So I have a formula beta differentiation of cos theta. So since I took here cos theta in the sense here, I should have the with respect to theta only. That gives that is equal to differentiation of cos theta minus sine theta. If differentiation of sine theta plus cos theta, these are all formulas beta, basically. Of course, how this will get also, there is a way uh, by Euler's theorem and all in limits differentiate. Uh, if you go from basic mathematics, but uh, our choice is not that now. So I'm differentiating with respect to T. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I cannot do differentiation this X naught. I'm keeping aside. I can do differentiate this total function cos omega t. Omega t is a part of time function. So cos theta differentiation minus sine theta. So minus I'm keeping here sin omega t I'm writing. Okay. Since I've written here sin omega t, again, I have to differentiate this function also. Here I differentiated this total function. Again, I have to differentiate theta also. But what happened? d theta by t theta if you do that gives us one only that gives us one means dx by dx oh, sir, could you repeat that one whenever we are differentiating any function i'm for example sine theta i'm differentiating i'm doing sine theta again i have to differentiate this theta also individually okay so this theta when i'm differentiating d theta by d theta i will get that is equal to 1. That's why we will not write this d theta by d theta here. Simply it is equal so to So could one. you move the camera? I can't see what you wrote over there at the side. Okay. Here I'll tell you. Now I'm differentiating cos omega t. Differentiation of cos omega t minus sin omega t. I have written no. Now I need to differentiate this part. What is that? d by dt of omega t. Usually, will follow. Now, in this, whenever I'm differentiating this, omega is a constant I kept aside. I kept a side. So, I have to write d t by d t t. Time with respect to time differentiated. Now, d t t by d t. dx by dx is equal to 1. dx by dx is equal to 1 answer so instead of writing this directly we will take or we will consider it is as a one only so x naught omega sine omega t into one so i will take dx by dt answer is this okay is it clear up to So, so is that x naught omega sin omega t? Yes, x naught omega sin omega t. Next dx by dt gives us velocity only but i did not reach my goal what is that my destination acceleration i need to get right yes so sir. i'm erasing this now i have to differentiate this to achieve the acceleration so again i have to differentiate this above equation so, 
if I differentiate d square x by dt square, it became right. I know already that is dx by dt, this equation that I am differentiating again. So minus x naught omega sin omega t, right? This equation I have written here. Now, x naught is a constant, minus I kept aside, omega also I kept aside. I can able to differentiate that time function term only, which is having the time t term is there, that only I can able to differentiate because with the time variable. So if I differentiate sine omega t, may I know what is the answer? d by dt of sine omega t formula. So that's cos omega yeah. t, then we take omega out. So then that's dt cos by dt so 1. And again, we will get one more omega because of again this part differentiation. So I have the answer this omega and this omega, omega square and cos omega t is as usual. And this is our d square x by dt square. Why do we get omega again? We will differentiate no again. Okay, sir. d by dt of omega t you will do no. From that omega we yes, side dt by dt is one no. Yes, sir. So the one simply one one into something one only no. That's why we didn't write. So d square x by dt square minus x naught omega square cos omega t. Now I'll tell you simple logic here. Minus omega square I'm keeping aside. x naught cos omega t. This term which is equal to the initial solution term. What was the solution? I have written first equation. What was the solution I have written? x equal to x equal to x naught cos omega was omega t was the solution right yes sir so in this place minus omega square in this place can i write x yes sir omega square x i got and d square x by dt square is called as acceleration no yes sir Therefore, I have reached my destination, whatever I want. A equal to minus omega square x. Yes, sir. Then, imagine. This is what the answer which we obtained from the previous differential equation. And that solution is that. Therefore, the solution which I told till now, this is a solution I have written. The same solution is correct or not? Correct? No. I have yes, taken sir. this as a solution. Yes, no. This is as a solution x equal to x naught cos omega t. So that I satisfied or not? Again, you got a equal to minus omega square x has come. No. Yes, sir. Because the differential question has come from the answer to question we have reached. This was a question earlier for us d square x by dt square uh, plus omega square x, nothing but. If I'll bring this is that side, I'll get the question d square x by dt square plus omega square x. So this is the differential form of uh, sinusoidal wave equations in a case of simple harmonic motion. Right? Have you understood? Now, from this only, we will write uh, the terms which is required in uh, simple harmonic motion. Well, as you have a simple harmonic body in SHM, okay, what is the displacement? That all we will write. Shall I erase it? Okay, sir. From this, you will understand or you will get to know the terms. What are the important terms in SHM? That is first 
displacement x equal to x naught whatever you are taking here cos omega t if you take velocity v equal to what is the velocity of the simple harmonic motion minus omega x naught sin omega t is a velocity okay what is the acceleration a equal to minus omega square x which is also equal to minus omega square x naught cos omega t these are the three important terms okay from this you also get to know that time period what is the time period time period for the simple uh, pendulum or some time period for the spring if you take up how could you move your camera up a bit t equal to 2 pi by omega is the time period of a simple harmonic body when the speed is maximum conditions if you apply the maximum speed is happens minus omega x naught position when the maximum acceleration when omega square x it takes place these are the important terms which makes us understand uh, simple harmonic motion mathematically The time period of simple harmonic motion depends only on omega, which is angular frequency or angular velocity, and it is not depends on the amplitude as well as phase. It is not depends on the amplitude as well as phase. For clarity now how do you take that simple harmonic motion oh uh, yes sir. yes sir yeah yes, sir. sorry 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 one second sir i'm writing it down <laughs> 